If you put in CO2... Shit. Good morning, not evening. Uh, it's breakfast time! So, there are like breakfast alcohol drinks. Like who drinks alcohol in the morning? You do. So, we, we're making breakfast, it's the morning. Gotta make a drink! So we're gonna have mimosas. And mimosas are 50% or so orange juice and 50% or so uh, champagne. But we are men of humble means, so we don't have any champagne. And when you don't have champagne, you can make your own. So, <laughs> we've got this bottle of white wine that is been opened for like five or six days. It's a Riesling. That's nice. And we need to carbonate it. Okay, so how do you carbonate things? If you are pretentious and somewhat of a hipster or you just have too much free time, you built your own own carbonator. Yeah. So we have here an empty two liter of Diet Pepsi caffeine free. We're gonna take our fine almost champagne and pour it in. This is a delicate process. <laughs> and a little bit for me. It's okay. Okay, so you got your home carbonator. You gotta put the nipple on it. Nipple. Oh wait, no, no. Gotta get some of the air out. Squeeze it on tight. Gonna connect our system. Secure connection. And turn the gas on. What the f Why is it doing this to me? Oh, okay. So I'm at about 55 PSI. Champagne is like 80, but my system can't handle any more than what I've cranked it up to. Okay, so we've got the gas on. We'll start filling. It makes kind of an unnerving sound. And then you shake it. Oh, for f sakes. So. Gas back on, then we shake it. If we screw this up, there'll be like this monumental explosion of wine. I've had it happen. Turn the gas off, remove, and we let it settle down. So it's pressurized. Try to make that CO2 dissolve as much as possible. If you put in CO2, shit. Okay, so here we will very slowly remove the cap. Okay, and then we got the CO2 coming out. Gonna repeat that process. We want a little fizz. I'm just doing, I'm just doing the exact same thing again. You do it too fast, it goes flying up. Okay, we're waiting for this moment. We've got our carbonated beverage, which you pour in, and you're like, wow, that looks like real champagne. And we finish them up with the OJ. And that is probably the most difficult way you could possibly make a mimosa. Cheers! Could be more carbonated. <laughs>